What's up friends, it's Ben and today's teaching tip is going to be about disciplining students, about consequences. When you're giving out consequences to students, I've found it very helpful to give consequences with an oh no attitude. And what I mean by that is the beginning of your phrase, of your consequence, should start with oh no. Or like at least that feeling of man, I am so sad that you forgot to do the right thing, that you didn't follow the expectations that we set out for you as a class, as a team, to be successful together. You broke our expectations, you broke our trust. Because think about the difference in the way it feels to you as a student, if you were a student, if I said, stop talking while I'm talking, go sit down on the bench, it's the third time I told you that. Versus exact same behavior by the student, but if I said, oh man, I wish you hadn't, said that when I was talking because other people can't hear, I'm gonna need you to go take a refocus break over there on the bench, I'll come talk to you in a minute. So when you go and talk to that student, in those two scenarios, in which scenario do you think that conversation is gonna go well? Because in the first scenario, when I yelled at the student in a derogatory way, it, it makes them feel like I'm not on their team, like we're on different teams. But in the other situation, when I gave those consequences with an oh no attitude, it helps them understand that I love them and I want what's best for them. And I'm really sad that they didn't follow the expectations that our class agreed on. And they're gonna have to go sit on the bench, but I'll come talk to them in a minute because I want them to come back in and I want to repair that relationship. And I want them to be able to be successful in class. So the way that you hand out those consequences, the exact same consequences, but the way you deliver those to students can result in totally different relationships and outcomes when you go and try to talk to those students, get them to refocus and bring them back into the class. I hope that's a helpful mind trick for you to think about. It's been really helpful for me. I learned about that at a, a parenting conference. They were saying that's how you can um, discipline your kids. And when I uh, was going through that class, I was like, man, this is a great way for me to think about handing out consequences to students because it really reminds them that you're on their team, which is what we all want students to remember anyway. Hope you guys have an awesome day and if you have any feedback, hit me up in the comments. Have fun and teach on. I'll catch you guys later.